boys, Jackson DKF here, and today I'm going to be showing you all a really good bed spawn trap. So, it's like the one that they use in Gaia's Vault, but better. Well, actually, it's the same thing, but just much simpler. Like, in a lot of other videos, like the Gaia's Vault ones, they're just like very complicated, and like all the good bed spawn traps are like super complicated, but it's kind of like the bed guys vault one which is like super simple like the good ones they're the best ones so like you can use a pranking or whatever you want so like if you use my bed there and yes i'd spawn here yeah we're pretty good so how this works is as you see my bed spawn trap was there and i just uh give me a second spawned all the way up there but, how can this be? You usually spawn like one block near your bed, but I spawned all the way up there. Well, I'm gonna explain, explain this to you. This is good for making prisons, pranking people, trapping people, whatever you want to do. It's just something that you could make. So, as you can see here, here's like a good diagram of how it works. And another one, and another one. For some reason, I made that many. So, well, anyways, let's get right into it. So, it's really easy. All you need to do is just place a bed, and you don't have to do this, but, so you see, here's the bed, and just cover up, just like decide on one place where you should spawn. It cannot be on top of the bed, anywhere around the bed, like anywhere on these green parts. It can go anywhere and then just put a shulker on it. And then, like, just plug up all the other possible ones. It's best to put it, like, right there. Well, yeah, it's best to put it, like, on the edge, because buckling items in would be very hard. Like, then it's hard. Okay, there we go. So, yeah, after you do that, just cover it all up and be sure to use slabs or anything that's not a full block and put it here. I suggest slabs because that's the easiest, but if you're doing like anything like very good, just be sure to use enchantment tables because that's usually harder to break. So after you do this, the shulker and the bed have to be on like the same Y coordinates. And then leave one space gap above the shulker and then just, you don't have to do that. Just, and just make a pillar up as high as you want. Just like do it as high as you want. What happens is the bed, like also just, lap here or something like after you set your spawn point what it does it tries to find like a place where you can spawn then it tries to put you here because this is, a, this is a, an available split space shulkers are very cool because they're mobs and kind of a block so when it tries to put you here the game thinks like oh no there's a block here no we can't do that just tries because if you see here if I like create a pillar, if I create a pillar and just throw a block, wait, and throw a block in there, it's either gonna do that or it's gonna wait. Wrong block. It's either gonna go up, like I don't know why, but Minecraft just makes stuff go up. Not a very clear demonstration. Sorry about that, but. They usually go up, so, yeah. But it might not be so loud anyways. So it tries to find you a place up, and it goes up, 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 and there you go. Free spawn point, so that's how it works. And there you go. That's how you make it. And if you're doing any, like, pranks, or, like, anything, like, just kind of want to hide it, just, like, try to make sure it's either... Like, make me. I'll try to demonstrate this. But. A bit too loud. Okay. Let me demonstrate.
fixed it too clearly. So, well, <coughs> okay, this much, this is much better. So you see here, here's your bed. It can either be just like locking up your spawn point or just leaving the block untouched. Like, like you can leave just one block below the bed. Just like, or that also just like blocks it you from spawning there. So as you can see here, what I did, the reason why over here in that corner is the only possible spawn point is because you can't spawn here because there's no blocks. Neither can you spawn there. And all the other two spawn points are blocked. And I used slabs above there, but I broke them. So I could demonstrate to you guys. Yeah, it's supposed to be like this. And in your bed. And just, it kind of fits in. See, it's just like a bunk bed. What could go wrong? Until you figure out... Uh, also, be sure don't do this at night, or yeah, you just spawn inside the shulker. Just a little tip, but try to do this during daytime, or just like just try to put a lot of zombies or something to actually just stop them from being able to sleep. So that's about it. And you can also spawn on slabs, and yeah, that's about it for this video. Oh wait, I forgot about one last thing. So, so here's a quick demonstration of something. You can have as many beds. You can have as many beds as you want share the same shulker. Just go upwards. So you can go up to like four beds. I don't know. IDK, I don't know. But you will always go up this one shoot. Like, it's just about like the bed spawn point and stuff. And I also made like a really compact version if you want to see this. Don't know why you would want to, but maybe. I don't know, it's kind of. Anyways, the most compact I could make it is. Well. This, like just doing this, and just that. This is as compact as you can. Wait a minute. Kind of as compact as you can get right there. So easy, quite easy to build. Most in survival and transporting the shulker would be very hard. This is it, basically. So. Subscribe if you like my content because I come up with lots of cool things that might help you out and yeah, just like my video if this you found this helpful and bye. I'm trying to reach 10 subscribers so bye. See you next time. Bye.